Do you know what? I thought I'd come on here at night and go live and speak to uh, speak to you regarding uh, my survival adventures and the show I just recently been on called Naked and Alone. But do you know what? I don't go I don't go live often on YouTube. I think I've been live about twice, maybe three times on YouTube, and I think I've had YouTube now nearly ten years. So I just thought I'd come on here, say hello, see how all the features work, see if I can see people's comments. And that's it, really. But it looks like no one's on here at the minute, so I'm just going to waffle. I'm going to chat, shit, and talk for about uh, five minutes. So as most of you are aware, if you haven't checked out my Instagram, if you have go and check out, if you haven't go and check out my Instagram, survival underscore stay. So last year, I I did done a TV show called Naked and Alone, racing to get home, and it was on Channel E4. And what it was was. A survival challenge where you were stripped back and you had to get from A to B while navigating the ground while surviving off the land over three days in a bid to win £5,000. So uh, when I seen ads on that uh, Facebook uh, last year, then uh, speaking to people, I thought, you know what, that would be a massive opportunity for me to test myself as a survivalist, see if I can go and do it. Funny enough, we went and done it. Me and my missus actually done it as a pair. So if you haven't seen it, it's worth a watch. Like I said, it's on channel E4 and it's called Naked and Alone. And we got dropped off uh, fully naked and survived the land. And I tell you what, it was one of the best experiences in my life. I learned so much about myself. I learned so much about survival. What what it, what I found uh, sort of difficult where I, I actually enjoyed the challenge. I mean, I don't think it was too tough, uh, too tough for me. But what I found difficult, not not difficult, really difficult, is stuff where you don't really think of, walking through woods without like a jacket on and you've got all fucking branches scratching you. So that's what I thought was quite uh, quite hard. I wasn't expecting it. Just walking through woods and your body's getting ripped apart. And I've been teaching survival for absolutely years. I train the military. I train uh, all, different, uh, all different units. I mean, normally go out for about less than 24 hours. And the lads have got some kit. The lads and girls have got some some equipment. But doing a strip back for over three days was quite good. Quite a good experience. But like I said, I learned a lot about myself. I learned that I can fucking smash it. I can smash challenges. If you drop me off anywhere, I'm good to go. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the challenge. But yeah, that's what I want to come on here and talk about. And if anyone's on here, I want to ask any questions of it. But yeah, you, you, over the three days, there was loads of different challenges you had to get to. You had to nav, navigate from A to B. And when you got to an area, you'd have to build up shelter, uh, get as much food in you as possible. That's if you found any food, if you forage for any, or on some of the challenges, if you managed to get any. If you haven't watched the show, I don't want to give too much away. But we did manage to get some food, me and the missus. And yeah, it was cool. It was uh, just building little shelters, sleeping overnight, the rain coming. Absolutely fucking pissing down. But to push yourself out of your comfort zone, fully naked, fully exposed, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I grew as a person. Like I said, I feel like I can take on any challenge now. So naked and afraid, that's 21 days. I would love to do that challenge. So if anyone's watching, you know people are naked and afraid, send them my way. I'm ready to be dropped off for 21 days. Uh, but yeah, really good challenge. But do you know what I'm probably going to start doing, though? I'm going to probably start uh, going live a bit more often on YouTube because, like I said, I don't really I don't really go live on here. I think I've been live three times in about 10 years. So here I am now. I'm going live. I'm going to be talking to you. I'm going to be a bit more active. I'll probably go live when I'm in the evenings when I'm gaming more, to be honest, and chat away to you. But yeah, I'm going to love you all and leave you all now. I just want to get on you dead, dead quick, see how all the features work. Do you know what? Let me press some buttons a minute. What do all these do? Let's have a little look where I'm here. Right. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can share your live. So if I go live on here, I can share it across me. I can share it across my social Yeah, I can. Ideal. I can share it across my social media as well. But anyway, almost at the touch live. All chats are visible. Manage This filters beam filter. Here's all my filters. Here we go. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to love you all and leave you all. I said I was only coming on here five, ten minutes. I just wanted to see how it all works. 
Uh, but I'm happy now. I will probably start going live a lot more often. But if you come and see this video after the live's up, I would love it if you come and subscribe. Uh, come and watch a few of my videos. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get me uh, watch hours, me four thousand watch hours. I want to start monetizing YouTube. Fingers crossed. But yeah, love is all and leave is all. Have a great day, and I'll see you all soon.